Can death separate you from the love of God in Christ? This is that point where Revelation demands a response. Just say no. Can death separate you from the love of God in Christ? Can the trials of life separate you from the love of God in Christ? Can angels or powers or supernatural beings, can they separate you from the love of God in Christ? Can the present, can the past separate you from the love of God in Christ? Can any power at all in all of creation separate you from the love of God in Christ? Can space, height, depth, heaven, hell, or anything separate you from the love of God in Christ? So Paul goes over and over this whole long list of things. He's trying to include absolutely everything in the spiritual realm, everything. And then at the end he says, in case I missed everything, can anything in all creation separate you from the love of God in Christ? And the people of God thundered, no, it can't. That's the height that Paul wants to take you to, and that's the height that Paul wants to leave you at so that you stay there. Nothing can separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Our security is based not upon ourselves or upon what we do or even how we respond. It's based upon who God is and what God has promised, not just what he's promised, but what he has done. Our anchor is in eternity and the anchor holds. There is real comfort there. God has taken sides and his love never ends. There is real comfort there. 